Uh, I would like to request uh, Sankar Khagi, US Aid Country Coordinator Nepal, for your remarks. Namaste and good morning. Uh, <coughs> my name is Sankar Khagi and uh, I work as a uh, energy specialist at uh, USAID Nepal. Uh, <clears throat> thank you for inviting USAID uh, to this uh, important day. And I would like to congratulate uh, IPAN uh, for organizing and celebrating their uh, birthday, 23rd birthday today. Um, so as uh, we have heard this morning uh, quite a lot that uh, Nepal is standing at a crossroads. It is ready to transform its energy future and contribute significantly to South Asia's energy landscape. So therefore, it is imperative that this energy future that Nepal is envisioning should be a sustainable one. It is crucial for the government of Nepal, the private sector, development partners, and investors to collaborate for a sustainable energy future. So again, uh, I would like to thank you for inviting US Agency for International Development in Nepal to celebrate this inaugural IPAN Day with you. So as part of our <coughs> U.S. government mission to Nepal, USAID Nepal actively partners with IPAN and others across the energy sector to enhance uh, performance of our national utility and promote advanced energy systems, facilitate cross-border electricity trade, and catalyze increased energy generation. So together, we are actively shaping a sustainable and impactful future. As Nepal embarks on planning for its energy future, it is imperative that the energy sector develop a comprehensive understanding of Nepal's evolving energy demands. We have heard our honorable ministers talk about that. The energy sector in Nepal should strategically develop its resources to meet both national and regional needs, and that to ensuring its economic, environmental, and social sustainability, the three pillars of sustainability. The promotion of a diverse range of clean energy sources is paramount to building a resilient and varied energy portfolio. In this pursuit, I am delighted to share that USAID Nepal stands together, stands shoulder to shoulder with the government of Nepal and esteemed development partners like World Bank, ADB, FCDO, JICA, NORAD, and others. And so in, in this pursuit, we are glad that we are assisting in developing practical tools and enhancing the capacity of our energy planners. So USAID appreciates the efforts that the government of Nepal is making to put in place robust policies and institutions to achieve the goals of the energy sector. We hope that these improved policies will enable the realization of the sector plans and address the constraints hindering the sector's growth. We also encourage wide stakeholder consultation in developing these policies, ensuring inclusivity and effectiveness. We eagerly anticipate policymakers to enact necessary legislation 
including the, including the proposed new electricity bill and regulations that will propel Nepal towards a sustainable energy future. In this endeavor, USAID commits to this continuing partnership. Nepal's ambitious energy sector goals demand significant financial investments in generation, transmission, and distribution. Nepal will need to invest in building the human resources that will develop, operate, and maintain this infrastructure. It is time for innovations and investments that will unlock the necessary financing as well as develop necessary human resources. This includes enhancing the capacity to put in place robust agreements that attract domestic and foreign financing and investment. We recognize the importance of developing markets through cross-border electricity trade and regional cooperation. Nepal needs to cultivate the necessary human resources, knowledge, capacity, and institutions to trade thousands of megawatts of power with neighboring countries. The establishment of electricity trading companies, including private sector involvement, is pivotal to efficiently navigate regional markets and establish necessary agreements. In this realm, the US government has been a steadfast supporter of regional energy cooperation, a commitment we proudly continue. Last, but certainly not least, <laughs> Nepal has committed to achieve net zero emission by 2045. To achieve this, it is imperative to have a well-planned and well-planned and executed energy transition by actively engaging in strategic planning and implementation to bring about its energy transition. Transforming Nepal's most polluting sectors, such as transportation and industry, requires a shift to clean energy sources. The adoption of clean energy, energy solutions encompassing electric transportation, cooking, and various industrial processes is pivotal for Nepal to embrace a sustainable and environmentally friendly future. Encouragingly, we are already witnessing positive strides with the introduction of electric vehicles on the streets of Kathmandu and Nepal. USAID is honored to collaborate with the government of Nepal and our partners in developing comprehensive plans for this necessary transition. In conclusion, Nepal's journey towards a sustainable energy future is marked by collaboration, innovation, and shared commitment. USAID, and indeed the entire US government, is happy to play a role in working with you all to forge a future where Nepal's energy sector not only meets the needs of today, but lays the foundation for generations to come. With these points, I close my remarks and thank and congratulate IPAN for organizing this celebration to highlight Nepal's sustainable energy future. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sankar Khagi, USAID County Coordinator Nepal, for your remarks.